Hello, and welcome back. Went to my first car boot, as you can see here. Bolton car boot after the Q4 after party. Not feeling the best. Let's see how it goes. Um, yeah, it was the Q4 after party last night, and I went home early because I was wasn't drinking. I was just driving. But good night. Thank you, Jess. Um, saw lots of people and it was quite entertaining. Um, but went to the car boot this morning because it's the first one of the well, the second one technically, but the first one was really windy. I didn't want to go to it at Bolton car boot. Saw some people there that recognised me even from now with the channel, which is amazing. Nice to see you. I didn't catch any names. Um, also, I've not really done any clips of the actual car boot apart from that one little one where I was walking up to it because I've not got a GoPro. Um, probably get one in the future, but I'll go through what I've bought today. So, it's all. So, let's get it on the table and see what so, there is. First bag. Um, what I think I'm going to do is one corner I'll show how much I bought it for and one corner how much I think it's worth and have like a tally and also do a screenshot of what stuff things were. So first thing was this bag. Um, not everything in here came with the bag but the bag was thrown in. It might be worth something, I don't know. I'm not really this person, this type of person but I'll look it up. But first thing, I, I, I got a lot of stuff from a contact that I see regularly so we'll see um but this cost me two pound this was on a whim it was kind of like at the end of a deal so we'll throw the flash it up if it's worth anything but if not I have no idea next thing in here uh it was an Xbox original and a Wii it was 25 pound and then obviously the bag which I don't know might be worth something on its own flash up the bag um, but Xbox consoles, I know I'm banging out in a bundle. It's console only, but I'll get all the other stuff for 70 quid all day long. And then a Wii, I think everything's included except the controller. If I can get a controller, it's worth about £30, but in the current state, probably £18, £20. There we go. Right, first bag done. Nice and easy. Let's go to the next one. So. This is not in any order of what I picked up. Hopefully, when I start recording the boot I'll be able to show you the order I picked up. But the contact, he, he, he goes around the, he, he brings me all this stuff, and then he goes around the car boot, and then he finds at the car boot, he finds me and sells me them. So, this is what he found. So, three consoles, don't know if they're working, paid £15 each for them, which is a good price. Let's see if there's hard drive in here. No hard drive in that one. And. No hard drive in that one, shame. But if they're working, don't know if they are. 55, 55, 60. With, with full bundle with power supplies and stuff, but I've got all that stuff everywhere. Um, then he did these three controllers for £18. Um, don't know if they're working, but even that on its own, broken, is worth 18 And then those are worth about 20, 25 ish if working. And then about. 15 ish for that one if working, and then not sure if that one's gonna be working because of that there, but it's about 15 ish, I think. And then also, he found three official Xbox One controllers and got them all three for 28 pounds, untested but broken. I'm getting. 2025 20, for them broken, so not bad. Next, let's go to the next box. And next box. Um, this is also from that contact, I've realised. Uh, this is the stuff that he found me originally with. Um, paid him CS cash times 1.1 on this stuff. Um, so two switch stops with the power supplies, PSVR camera. I know that goes for about £40, I think. I've sort of one recently about the sand. Super Mario Bros, about £10 game. Bully, about £7 game. And then Switch games, I'm not too clued up on, but there we go. Those ones um, flash up on the screen. Bam, 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 bam. And two Switch docks. I can't remember how much they got. I know I paid £25 each on those, so they must be worth more than that. Um, but I paid all together, all this stuff, £130-ish, I think. 
sounds a lot, but Switch games, there's not a lot of margin because they fly out, but adds up. So, and then also, um, I got two cameras because James Clutch just got me onto them, and I kind I, I didn't research them, but for a fiver for the two, I can't get this one out one minute. Um, for a fiver for the two, I can't complain. But I looked at it, that's a 35mm lens, which generally is good. That's a 38 but they, they just they seem like quality units. Like, you can sometimes feel quality with these. I flash up, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know, but flash up. Five of the two, I can't go wrong. And then also, in here, oh, it's a bit, bit of a mismatch. Power supply, I think that's a third party one, but still, I can use them all the time. Official, I can, a fake controller, cost me a fiver. These two, I know they're working. I got them for £30 each, I think they sell for about 50 each. I might have to box this one at home, I don't know. I know I have one like this, I don't know if it's the clear one or this one. But, £50 without a box. Last bag, I ran out of money so I had to ask a friend for some. Um, <laughs> thank you Lee Baldwin if you're watching. Um, but, Rock Band Wireless Guitar PS3, no dungle, got it for 4 quid. so I think they're more than that but should be fine. I think it's about 20, 30ish on the screen now oh god and then all my games oh no let's do some let's get the games out all right games are out let's finish in putting it in. so uh ps1 with a controller got for 10 pounds and then two ds's got a 3ds and a dsi don't know if they're working units only but 20 pound for the two can't complain of that Right, all these are mixed up in multiple bundles, but let's sort them out into the right bundles quickly. Right, first bundle is these four piles. I split them up into what I paid. I know I paid in total. I paid £62 for it all. And if I'm right in remembering, that's the £5 pile, that's the £4 pile, that's the £3 pile, and that's the £2 pile. I can't, I think that's right, I can't remember. Um, but let's quickly thwire through them, so... I'll show screenshots as I'm going through. Resident Evil 2 Revelations, Xbox One. Yoshi's Woolly World for the Wii U. Forza 6 for Xbox One. Animal Crossing, Wii. Minecraft 360. Uh, Hello Neighbor, Xbox One. Just Dance 2020. Ro Ro McElroy, Super Lucky Sale. Project Cars 2, Uncharted. Wii Sports Resort, Wii Sports 2, Black Ops 3s. Dead Rising 2 Steelbook, Sonic 3 Riders, Call of Duty 3, Skate, and Juice 2. I was surprised that was in the £2 pile, because I was pretty sure it was a £10 game. Um, but yeah. £62 for all that. Um, I'll add to the total to what it comes out to in sales now. Right. Next pile. Two FIFA games. I paid a fiver each, you'd be surprised. But they're worth that. Um, I'll flash up on the screen what they go for. And then £6 for that. Not bad for that one. Um, also, the lending me some money for these. Thank you very much. Um, yeah. Very nice. And then, from Lee's actual store, also the two um, Game Boys I got from Lee's store. Um, you can tell it's all the stuff because he's got all these prices. Um, I paid, paid him on PayPal and paid his money back that I took off him, so thank you once again. So, Wii Sports I got for £3, Tekken 6 for 4 Monster High for 5 Sonic Free Riders for 3 Farming Simulator for 8 and then I got these two for £3 each. So yeah, it was a bit of a short and sweet video. Well, I don't know how short it'll be once edited, but it's, on, it's a Sunday now. I'm going to try to get this uploaded for Sunday. I might not be able to, might be Monday. Um, because I've got to go to my mum's at 3 and it is now currently 2, so if I can get this uploaded, um, edited and uploaded in an hour, we'll see, I'll try, <laughs> um, but yeah, not bad for a first carpet haul and I was woefully unprepared with 5 hours of sleep from Q4 After Party, thank you Jess again, um, so yeah, I will... I've still, got, I've still got all of this to go through to show you. But that's from Ricky, and that's from Ricky's friend called Ricky. Still there, waiting to be opened. And I've got all this. 
from James that I need to pry it up. And all those cameras over there from James. It's going to be a busy few weeks, I think, but such is the life of reseller. It's good to have stock than not have stock, and I'm still buying more. Um, so, yeah, uh, hope you have a good day. See you later.